Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Central Valley Talk. I'm Austin Reed. Our final guest today is the one, the only, Doug Cox, joining us inside our Tower District Studios here at Central Valley Talk. How are you Talk. doing, sir? Welcome back. Welcome back. Yes, right. I'm here. You're here <laughs> recently from San Diego. Yes, just got back. Just got back. My annual trek to San Diego every July. Yep. How was it? Good trip. Good, good. Well, uh, other than that, have you been very busy? Yeah. What's going on? What's going on? Um, actually, the usual complaints. I don't remember my password. <laughs> I had uh, I had a lady yesterday. She forgot so many passwords that I have to go back tomorrow. Because Apple, the Apple ID, they won't let you fix it for 24 hours. Oh, because no. she was so far down a rabbit hole. Okay. <laughs> oh, so. man. That's be careful out there. Use yeah. good passwords. Uh huh. Uh huh. Write them down. Right. Somewhere. Um, how long? <laughs> by the way, how long have you been the Mac guy here in Fresno? Over twenty years. Over twenty years. So you've seen a lot of change. I started with uh, what Mac OS nine, Mac OS eight. Wow. Now we're on twelve's coming out in the fall. Yep. 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 Yes. Yep. And I was there during the during this cha big change from nine to ten. Right. Right. I want to know, um, one of the big stories from Apple just in the last couple of weeks are those battery packs. Did you see, I mean... Yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're actually late to the show. Okay. Um, a lot of other companies offer them. The new iPhones have magnetics on the back so that things will actually stick to the back. Okay. So you can stick a battery pack to the back, you can stick a wallet to the back. Um, they also have all kinds of, like, they have little desk holders that you actually can magnetically stick it. Oh, that's kind of cool. And it'll hold your phone and uh -huh. charge it. Uh -huh. um, the, uh, it'll give you, like, 50% charge. There's others on the market that'll give you a better charge. Um, Apple's among the fastest charging out there. Mm -hmm. I did re you asked me about it, so I did a little research. Right, right. And the price, the prices are from, like, 49 to mm -hmm. 99 But it's worth it, right? I mean, in your opinion... Well, I, if you I, want it. I actually, every time I get in my car, I plug, I plug my phone in. Right. Yeah. So my car is always 100% if I'm in the car at all. Right. right. Because I'm always going, you know, between clients and stuff. Sure, sure. Plus, I have to have Apple CarPlay in my phone. Yeah. In my car. You know. <laughs> exactly. And the, um, I want to ask, oh, uh, there were a couple things I wanted to ask you about. Um, That's why I won't get a Tesla. What? They don't have Apple CarPlay. Oh, they don't? Yeah. It's like the only car in the market that doesn't. The Bentley has it. The Rolls Royce has yeah. it. The Porsche has it. The <laughs> all those cars I can't afford. Yeah, they all right. have it. But Tesla doesn't have it. Tesla doesn't have it. No. That's true. Um, Apple TV. Yes. What's the future of that? Um, well, the, the the big thing the big thing in the recent years is the addition of Apple TV Plus, which is Apple um, doing is doing producing. Um, Shows, yeah. producing movies, producing TV shows, um, and they're doing really well. Like Ted, La Ted Lasso, I think got twenty Emmy nominations. Right, I saw that. That's yeah. that's just phenomenal. Yeah, um, and I don't know if you're familiar with the Emmys, but like NBC got one, and that's it for the <laughs> major networks. I mean. The major, I know, I know. <laughs> it's like the major networks. It's got goose eggs. I'm nothing. I, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, um, you know, but. Now, I don't have Apple TV, but I've been considering the, to get it. The, the main reason, if you're an Apple user, mm -hmm. you want Apple TV because of all the ways it will work with your computer. Okay. So you can easily project your entire computer screen to the big screen. You can play music on your computer, project it to the, your stereo system okay. and your big screen if you have videos, uh -huh. movies, um, photo albums. You can actually... You can produce a photo album or a slideshow on your computer, project it to your big screen easily. Okay. That's that's really a big reason to do it. Uh, other than that, there's you know there's other reasons there's other yeah, okay. devices, but only the Apple TV does all that for you. For for the, yeah, so okay, so that's a good reminder. So if you if you are an Apple person, it's probably and and Apple TV. How much is that a month? Is it free? I don't know um, exactly how that works. I think, well, you get a free year with everything you buy. Okay. 
Okay. So you'd almost be silly to pay for it. Right. Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> <laughs> um, Actually, I pay for this. I pay for this um, premier package, uh-huh. like thirty bucks a month for everything, and then they, every month they give me a five dollar credit on my Apple TV. Oh, weird. So I get like five dollars back that I would have paid for Apple TV. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Well, that works. So look so. into it, everybody. Um, there was another story that I saw, but I can't remember it. And I remember I was talking to you on the phone about can, it. Can you be I, more vague? Yeah, I can, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was something about, I think it was the iOS. Something about iOS. Some That's new iOS. iOS. Right. Is the iPhone software. Like they did an update. No. Um, what, what was going the on with that? WWDC. It was in June. Okay. And every June. Apple announces all the upcoming software to developers. WWDC is Worldwide Developers Conference. Okay. Okay. So at that conference, they introduced new iPad software, new Apple Watch software, new iPhone software, new... They let the next cat out of the bag, even though they're not, they're not doing cats anymore. No. They, uh, it's called Monterey, oh. the new software. Okay. And all those things will come out this fall. Like, I'm using some of them right now um, as a beta tester. Uh-huh. I won't do it on my only phone because that's dangerous. Right. Yeah. Um, people out there, if, if they want to try the betas, they can. The Apple offers public betas now. Um, but caveat, you know, use it on an extra computer because it is beta software. You don't want to screw up your only computer, basically. Okay. So you, you need to be, if, if you you want to play with it yeah but mm. don't do it on your only computer don't do it on your only iphone okay <laughs> yeah, just use caution i did it on my only ipad but i'm not that concerned about my mm-hmm. ipad i don't use it much okay okay so i could play with it on that with not worried about it right. if it kills it i can you know uh and then the next iphone what that'll come out in who knows probably this fall probably the fall okay yeah and, and all the new software will come out this fall okay and they're you know they're rather vague Right. <laughs> They're just like It'll be out in the fall, yeah. okay? Yeah. Uh, anything else going on? Anything uh how, any interesting customer stories <laughs> the last few months? Um other than the passwords uh password situation. Yeah, that, that lady, poor lady. Yeah. That's just no fun. No. No, actually things are pretty smooth. Okay. Um not a lot of major problems out there. It was funny when I was re- I was gathering photos mm-hmm. to come here today. Yeah. And I had this major phishing thing pop up on my screen. Saying, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's the end of the world. Call this number. You know. Okay. Folks, don't call that number, number one. And you all, I hope you all know that out there. Because they all, all they want is your credit card number. That's all they're, they're doing. They're just trying to get money out of you. Mm-hmm. And also, if you kind of look at it, it kind of looks like it's actually Apple security, which is an absolute lie. Right. Apple will never do this. Um, or they're just trying to get your password. And remember, the number one rule of the Internet is nobody will ever ask for your password. That was agreed on the day they invented the Internet. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> it would just defeat the whole purpose. Yeah. Wow. All right. Thanks so, for sharing that. That's actually very useful information. Yes. So, uh, people can connect with you five five nine two seven seven. IMac. IMac, best number ever. And then uh, your yeah, macguy.com, right? Yes, that'll be, you'll find me there. Okay. Anything else? We're done. I think we're done. Is that it? Yeah, it's that's over? it. Yeah. Oh, okay. The weekend's coming up. <laughs> enjoy it. I'm gonna go see a show. All right. Very <laughs> good. That's right. You are. Yes. Well, enjoy. Okay, thank you. I'm Austin Reed. Thanks for joining us here for Central Valley Talk, the Thursday edition. We'll be back next week. Be sure to catch the Reed Report tomorrow at 8 a.m. on My53. And check out the Austin Reed Network streaming anytime on Roku, soon to be also on Amazon Fire TV. From all of us at Central Valley Talk. What? Not Apple TV? Not, not yet. <laughs> but one day. One day. I, I got to call them. I got to call them. They haven't called me yet. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>